Hello everyone, welcome to Nord University Short Lectures. My name is Azad Marden. I am the founder and lead instructor at Nord University where I bring top leading cutting edge Node.js and full stack JavaScript learning to you, software engineers or maybe software developers. In this episode, I want to contrast those terms. There are a lot of confusions. People use terms such as software engineer, software developer. Some people even use programmer or coder, etc., etc. So let's take a look at the differences. Of course, it's all my opinion, but I've been in this industry for 15 years. So let's go ahead. Programmer, let's start with a programmer. So programmer is a person who is programming. Okay, and typically you would hear this from someone who is uh, far from tech, who is not in the technology in IT, who is not doing the software development. Okay, so programmer, uh, people from outside basically, they call us programmers. Why? Because they think all we do is just programming. Okay, so that's not true. In 2018, 2019, uh, to, to be to develop software a lot of the times you don't even have to program okay there are certain tools and frameworks you don't have to program okay um, uh, a lot of them about configuration customizations okay so programming is a small part but when I'm talking with lay people when I'm talking to uber drivers or uh, uh, waitresses in a restaurant how would I explain what I'm doing hey programmer that they know what that is they don't know software engineers like engineer what are you engineering they think I'm uh, engineering some some widgets in a factory or I'm engineering buildings. No. Programmer, they understand it. Coder, what is coder? So coder, it's a little bit uh, on a step beneath the programmer. Coder doesn't necessarily need to code to program. Pro coder will code. So what is coder? So coder could be HTML coder or XML coder. It could be some uh, very, very low level position where all they do, they just put code. They don't write programs. Okay. So think about HTML. HTML, it's a very simple markup language. It has code, right? So uh, it has those angle braces, more and less signs, HTML tags, right? Uh, so someone who is just doing HTML, they take the designs and they put it in HTML or they change the text and the tags. They're coders, they're HTML coders, or if they're using a different code, they're different uh, coders, but they don't have to write programming. So that's why I'm saying uh, it's a level down because programming requires more skills and more knowledge. Of course, again, if we're talking with lay people, they would use coder as programmer they would use that interchangeably okay because they don't know those nuances but now you know so let's quickly fast forward to software developer okay so software developer it's much more than just a programmer or a coder software developer needs to understand all the cycles they need to gather requirements they need to talk with shareholders they need to ar uh, architect the scalability and the robustness of the entire system if it's a web application they need to think about load balancers and disaster recovery uh, if it's a web application, they need to think about browser optimization, right? So software development could be uh, niched down into web development, mobile uh, application development, uh, Internet of Things development. I will do a separate episode on all those niches. So software development, those are like the best of the best, right? And if you go to Amazon, you would see software developer title. Throughout the entire company, they use that title. Now, what about software engineer? So that's, in my opinion, that's even more than software developer. Why? Engineer, it typically, it's a typically a person who finished either bachelor degree in computer science or master's degree. They know everything at a very thorough level, algorithm, data structures. Now, that might be not necessarily true in some companies, the titles don't matter much, but 
that I'm giving you my perception and perception of other people with whom I've talked. So engineering, it's like even more complex. You need to know even more about the libraries, etc., etc. It's not enough just to integrate a few services and write a small configuration file. But sometimes, as an engineer, if that's the best thing for this particular project, you need to do that. Right? Instead of coding, just get a module, configure it, and you can save 10 hours this week and 100 hours along the way because you don't have to maintain and no one has to maintain it. So, so that's pretty much the difference. We started with the co coder, then programmer, then software developer, software engineer. Software developer and software engineer, in a lot of companies, they, in, they are interchangeable. For example, at Indeed, we use software enge engineer. At Amazon, they use software developer. So keep that in mind. And then when you talk with, with other people, probably you have to just say you are a coder or a programmer. That's what we have to deal with. That's it for this episode. This was Naughty Investor Short Lecture, and I'll see you in the next episode.